Hey what's up guys, my name is Kip5 and today we're going to be talking about the 5 best plugins that you can have on any server. These are plugins that are very commonly used and are very popular. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the first plugin I'm always going to recommend is Essentials. This is one of the number one plugins that I recommend for any server. This has a lot of common commands to your server such as ban, mute, kick, temp ban. You have fly, you have tp, you have slash tpa, slash spawn, and so much more. This basically adds so many essential commands to your server that allows your players to essentially use certain commands that they would need. For example, if you have a creative server, you can give them access to slash game mode creative. If you have a survival server, you can give them access to slash message. You could have perks such as slash ender chest as rank up rewards and a lot more. Essentials does come with a lot of different commands that you can add to things such as donators, uh, things such as people who rank up, and more. The next plugin I'm going to recommend is the plugin Group Manager or Permissions EX. Now, Permissions plugins are highly recommended on any server. They allow your players to have ranks and have certain permissions to access certain commands. It's almost essential with essentials because you want to be able to give players access to certain essential commands most of the time. The next plugin I'm going to recommend is World Edit and World Guard together as a bundle. Both plugins rely on each other. Uh, you can install World Edit without World Guard, but World Guard is highly recommended. It allows you to create regions to protect certain areas of your server. Now there are a lot of awesome commands that come with this plugin and a lot of different flags that you can set to specific regions. For example, you can have a spawn region that always regens your health and food bar. You can also set it up so that certain players can build within that region and more. I will provide tutorials to every plugin I recommend in the description below. The next plugins I'm going to recommend are actually a bundle again, Chess Shop and the plugin Vault. Now Vault is required by most shop plugins. It allows the shop plugin to hook into your economy plugin. With essentials, you'll also need Vault in order for prefixes from a permissions plugin to show up. So I just highly recommend installing Vault in general. And then Chess Shop is just an amazing shop plugin. It's very simple to use. It allows you to set up sign shops with admin shops. Admin shops don't require you to be an admin to pay for them. A lot of people think that. Admin shops are basically unlimited shops and you can actually change the name admin shop in the chess shop configuration file. So I will leave a, again another tutorial link in the description below if you want to check out chess shop. And now we're on to our last recommendation. Now I'm going to give some honorable mentions before I list my last one. For some honorable mentions, I'd recommend a plugin like Citizens. It adds NPCs to your server. Um, the plugin Void Spawn actually allows players to fall into the void and not die. It will actually teleport them back to the last piece of land they were on, and it allows them to continue playing without them dying in the void and losing all of their items. Uh, this is really essential for any floating spawn that you might have in a void uh, or if a player happens to glitch out into the void somehow by accident. It happens. The final plugins for today that I'm going to bundle up into number 5 include Multiverse Core with Multiverse Portals. Multiverse Core is a world management plugin that allows you to have multiple worlds on your server. Now you never want to have too many worlds on your server but most servers can support 3 to 4 worlds. Uh, of course, that's servers that are over one and a half gigabytes of RAM, uh, anything smaller, and I'd recommend just staying away from multiple worlds. This plugin allows you to run multiple worlds, and with multiverse portals, you can set up portals to actually go in between each world. These portals can be custom, and they can include the nether portal pieces, they can include water, and you can even have lava portals, which are really cool. The portals themselves can be made out of anything. And then you can use the plugin World Edit to select both points and create the portals. Again, I will provide tutorials in the description below for all of these plugins. So guys, I hope you enjoyed one of my first top 5 videos. I have created top plugin videos in the past, uh, but I really kind of want to do some of these top 5s. I have ideas for other server types. So let me know what type of server type you might want a top 5 plugins for 
and I may just do that and I may just feature you in that episode. As always guys, I hope you enjoy these videos and as always, have a great day.